right, welcome inside Flames TV Live at the intermission. It's brought to you by Original 16, and uh, we're pleased to be joined on this desk once again by the Hockey Hall of Famer, Mike Vernon. Does that ever get old? You gotta like it. <laughs> I'm still pinching myself because <laughs> I don't believe it, but uh, it's uh, no, it's a uh, it's a great honor. I'm just ecstatic about it all. Well, the jacket <laughs> looks great. You're getting used to walking on yeah, red carpets go. tonight. Look at this. There's a nice little emblem. Uh, November the 12th, of course, was. Uh, was the big night officially inducted, but part of the big uh, celebration over the course of the weekend in Toronto uh, about a month ago or just less than a month ago. What, uh, what for you stands out about it as you look back and kind of, um, you know, go through a number of different uh, evenings and celebrations, old teammates yeah. that were there? What's oh, the no, it, it was unbelievable. Uh, it was a little overwhelming. Lanny prepared me for it a bit. Yeah. Uh, it was outstanding. I think there was nine guys from the 89 team there. Uh, which was great. Uh, my wife and children had a, a bit of a party for us at the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think there was about 200 and some odd people there. So yeah. it, was, it was a great weekend. And the Hall of Fame does a, a phenomenal job. If you ever have a chance, and when you're in Toronto, go see the Hall of Fame. Yes. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It truly is. And uh, it, it was just a great time. Well, it's a lot so of fun. fun. Well, when the, even the day we were there, I mean, you could stand in that that wall of, uh, you know, uh, and look at just, uh, you could spend hours there just looking at all the history of the rings. Oh, I mean, no. and, and for you, and just kind of, you know, guys you used to play against and, you know, goalies you looked up to, all that stuff. Yeah, right. well, w the, the day I was getting my ring, it was I looking across and it was a picture of Glenn Hall yeah. staring at me, and he was my coach for nine years. So I was just like, I cannot believe I'm going to be on a wall with him yeah. type yeah. thing. So, But it, it, it is a remarkable place. The history, it's amazing, and well over 100 years and things. So it was, it was spectacular. We had a riot. The, that 89, I mean, I, I don't know that, uh, you know, we talk about it in this city, but that 89 team, when you look at, uh, you know, the guests that were there with you two celebrating, I mean, do you guys ever talk about just, you know, how deep that team was and just how good that team uh, oh. and, and how many guys are in that in that room with you? Well, it was a it was a great team and we, we played against a lot of great teams, too. Sure. Yeah. But uh, you just it's just get everything right towards the end of the year and get into that playoff mode. And but uh a lot of the players that were on that team went on and had success elsewhere too. So sure. they, they were, they're great guys. They're great individuals on and off the ice. And uh, it was a pleasure playing with them and even against them sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sometimes uh, some big games against a few of those guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, year of the goalie, Tom Brasso and uh, Henrik Lundqvist going in there with you as well. Uh, you know, what was it like to be uh, part of uh, a year in which, you know, the goalies were such a big focal point? Yeah, it was it was nice. It was nice to see, and you know the 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 fraternity uh, was well represented, sure. I guess. So, yeah. But it it was you know what was great was all the inductees and spending time with them behind a camera, yes. in, in having lunch with them, getting to know them and their families, and and just getting to know them personally. And it was outstanding. And they're, they're all great individuals. They've all had great careers. And it, it was just a pleasure. And we had a lot of fun. It was awesome. Well, and the stories, everybody's got kind of a different path to you know playing oh, in the absolutely. National Hockey, right? I, I would imagine that you're a guy that you know loves to hear the, the story, that how guys you know found their way to the highest level. Well, I think we we respect each other yeah. because of, you know, your path to your success. Sure. And it's like I told Tommy Parasso, I said, you know, we kind of figured it out ourselves. We never had a lot of mentors along the way, coaches and yeah. psychologists and nutritionists and things like this. Is all you. We, we had to kind of figure it out yeah. ourselves. And Tommy went through, I mean, he... He was ad adopted. Him and his brothers were adopted and things like that. And to make the NHL at 19 years old, coming right out of college, and it, it just remarkable. And uh, I, I know his daughter has cancer and she's still battling with it and, and doing extremely well. But it just, everybody has a different path. And they're just... Yeah. They're great, sincere people, yep. and they were they were just glad to. Tommy and I kind of also had a bit of a 
little battle with media a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think every goaltender does. <laughs> sure, yeah. But but it's all good, and uh, you're just a great human being, and all of them are outstanding. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Quickly, uh, with the goalie fraternity, you mentioned it off the top. Uh, tonight, another example of that, Mark andre Fleury. Uh, you know, <laughs> he had to get a couple of words in there for you and uh, and with you as well. Uh, we got a nice little photo of it, too, just yeah. in the hallway moments before. <laughs> uh, you know, what did this mean to you, and uh, what's that conversation like? Well, I've, I've kind of followed uh, Andre Fleury. Flurry with his the stuff that went on in junior and yeah. you know he had the hiccups here and there but he kept pursuing it and I I would totally respect that and you just keep working at it and keep working hard and he's 39 years old and he's still playing the game yeah. and that is remarkable and I I told him I says you're going to be the next one to wear one of these <laughs> Well, it's beautifully said. I love the moment. Got to see yeah. it there firsthand. Class and, uh, guy. Class guy. And, and much like yourself. Class. Thanks. All class. Uh, congratulations on everything uh, over the past month or so. And uh, that jacket looks good on you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike Vernon, the Hockey Hall of Famer.